It's Super Shiro! Okay guys, this is the Super Shiro. Thank you so much for tuning in to this upload. I had to just share some urgent information with you guys. I just saw some headlines talking about gamers addiction and a big giant story about kids spending too much time gaming and I read everything they had to say and I heard everything they had to say and at the very end they go but there's no need for any big concern only 3% of the gamers suffer from gaming addiction. 3%. So they're saying it's only 3%. So don't worry about it. But they make a big deal out of it, put out big headlines so that all the parents of every kid that has a, a, a PS4 or, or, you know, PlayStation or an Xbox or any other type of gaming consoles or laptop gaming, PC gaming. So they all have a freaking knit fit and think, all of them now think their kids are addicted. I can't tell you how many times, and you can go back into my channel and see how many times I've played three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours straight. Well, first of all, that's because I happen to have some free time that day, obviously. But the thing is, <laughs> what is wrong with these people? So, first of all, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on uh, out there in the world. And uh, kids are suffering tremendously from all types of horrendous situations surrounding them you know so I say let them have their freaking games what is wrong with that what is wrong with letting kids play their games I'm not a kid and I'm playing the game what does that mean for me does that mean I have to see a doctor because when I have some free time the first thing I think about is playing zombies because I don't get to play enough, you know. But everybody has their own reasons. A lot of people, including kids, game to get away from stress. Stress in school, stress at home, bullies, and all kinds of situations, you know. We try to d distract ourselves and have some fun and you know, gaming is challenging and it exercises your brain and, you know, you're trying to get really good at that particular game. You know, you're networking. If, if you're multiplaying, you're networking and playing with people. You know, sometimes, you know, well, it's not so good. There's a lot of mean people out there. But, you know, you learn how to handle those situations. And if it's too much, you could just click out of the game. What do you know? When you're walking around in school and you got a bully walking behind you that won't leave you alone, you can't just click out of that, okay? So, I'm just really upset that they would make a big title out of it. And now I could imagine how many kids are probably getting grief over that stupid story and only 3% of the gaming community is affected by gaming addiction, you know? So, anybody who would be addicted to gaming could be addicted to anything else. Um, that's just an addictive personality. And that has nothing to do with gaming. Um, so, I just wanted to put it out there. I feel bad for any of you who have been affected by this ridiculous story. Um about gaming addiction, supposed gaming addiction. You know, if I have a rough day at work or I have, you know, life is big. I can have concerns and situations and I may be having a rough day. I may have a family member who's having a rough, rough time and I'm worried about them. 
and I may say, let me go, let me go play with some zombies. Let me do some multiplayer. Let me do some Nuketown. <laughs> I'm so addicted. <laughs> you know? Would people rather have their kids be running around town looking for something to do? Or at home? Gaming with their friends online. I mean, come on. So I'm just saying... Uh, I was really surprised to see that, that headline, and then I thought, well, you know, let me look into it. Let's see if these people have a point. But what happens is, I really, you know, most parents are very busy, and I think most parents are concerned about the gaming to start with anyway. Just in the back of your mind, you're, you're like, you hope your kid is all right, you know? Should I take this thing away? He's been on there for two hours, and he's screaming, and jumping around and sometimes you get frustrated in your game because if you're a multiplayer you got killed too early and you almost won and if it's a, if it's a, a solo game and you're trying to get a high round and you made a stupid mistake or a bad decision and you just played for an hour and a half for nothing you know um, you might get frustrated because you were trying to accomplish something. It's just like, you know, if you're playing football, if you're playing basketball or baseball or soccer, you know, when you're playing a, you're, you're, you're playing a baseball or softball and you get, get up there and you strike out, what happens? Are you happy? Are you really happy? Or are you super, super, super miffed? I just struck out for my team. I don't hear anyone complaining about baseball addiction football addiction soccer addiction chess addiction I don't I don't hear any complaints about that um, I'm really curious what percent of the population is addicted to football well they're saying that on the gaming they're judging it by how many hours these kids are spending online well, when you're on the football team or you're on the basketball team, you're, out, you're, you're playing for hours and hours and hours. And you're exerting yourself. And if you do all that and your team loses the game, you're all upset because you lost. You know, I mean, you get over it, but I'm just saying, gaming is no different. But how come they're not talking about the percentage uh, of the population of kids who play football and are out there, you know, practicing four or five hours when they go practice and all that stuff. I mean, what's the problem with that? No one's talking about, because what they're doing is they're talking about how much time you're spending doing this activity must make you an addict. Well, I have a confession. Yeah. I, uh, there's something that none of my BAM fam knows about and I've waited this long to work my way up to this big confession that I do have an addiction and according to what these people are talking about uh, it's a real severe addiction and I probably need to go get help for it um, I can't shake it off uh, I, I can't seem to stop this addiction uh, it's pretty much a daily addiction, and this addiction probably, I'm, I, I'm probably wasting anywhere from 8 to 16 hours a day on this addiction, so it's pretty serious, um, and I'm afraid I might be on a downward spiral, uh, I never thought about seeing a doctor for it until I saw this gaming, all the gaming news. You know, they're saying, gosh, you know, if you're on there for more than two hours, you, you got issues, you know. And if your addiction interferes with, you know, things you have to do and stuff, that's the big sign they talk about. Well, my addiction interferes with everything, okay? My addiction interferes with spending time with my family. Uh, my addiction causes me to miss precious holiday time with my family. Uh, 
My addiction causes me to not eat. Sometimes I don't even eat all day. Sometimes I won't eat for a whole day because I'm so wrapped up in my addiction. I'll miss lunch. Um, I'll miss dinner, you know. Um, what? Five jets. I don't even see them. Oh. Well, I'm walking around outside. Apparently, we have some jets flying in the air that I can't see. Um, yeah, so... I... Right fender. Work your way around from the front right fender. That's right. Make sure you work, work your way around from the front right fender. Just remember that, whatever that means. I was telling you the things it interferes with before I tell you what it is. Uh, I was listing all the things that they were saying, you know, that you need to get therapy for. Sometimes, because of my addiction, I can't, I can't sleep. You know, wor worries about my, worries that have to do with my addiction sometimes cause me to not be able to sleep. Sometimes I'm just, it consumes my, my brain. It just engulfs my whole brain. And uh, I just don't know what to do about it. I can't seem to stop. Um, I've actually had this addiction for many, many, many years. Sadly, I can't stop. Uh, gaming does help me. Gaming helps me deal with my addiction a little bit. I mean, it helps a little bit. It doesn't fix things, but I really, really enjoy gaming. It, it just, you know, it, it, I, I make friends. Uh, you know, I have, you know, my network, my BAM fam, and uh, which is my extended family and uh, my besties. So it's real important to me, my gaming. I love it and enjoy it. And, and whether I posted or had a YouTube channel or not, I was gonna game either way. I'm just sharing my gaming experiences and meeting people, and I don't see anything wrong with that, but that has nothing to do with my addiction. Gaming is the, obviously not my addiction, but it just helps me, helps break me away from my addiction. And the reason I keep saying addiction is because they're defining addiction as, you know, if you, you're spending more than two hours at it, then you got some issues. So uh, I'm just going by what, what I just saw today on, uh, on Yahoo News, the big giant breaking story by, uh, by WHO, W-H-O in all caps, apparently has uh, had this breakthrough discovery about gaming addiction. And I just want to say that, I mean, this, there are, I'm sure there are some people that, you know, that have an addiction to gaming. I'm sure there's 3% out there. Um, I do want to alert you um, to the uh, higher portion of the population that has an addiction to knitting. People have knitting addictions because obviously they're spending hours and hours and hours and hours per day knitting. So they need to see a doctor. Um, I'm sure a lot of kids, more than 3% of the population, I'm sure they're stubbing their toes. So there's a stubbing, uh, a toe stubbing addiction uh, outbreak right now um, where it's probably, you know, it could be 25% of the population um, that have a toe stubbing addiction because they're constantly stubbing their toes and they can't stop. Um, there's a air breathing addiction, and I think that it affects about 100% of the population has um, air molecule addiction. Um, as a matter of fact, they're engaging in this behavior about 24 hours a day. So I think that's what um, these people need to be talking about and need to be worried about that addiction. But let's get back to my addiction. I know you guys are uh, anxiously waiting to hear what it is. Um, and so, here we go. I'm addicted to love. No, just kidding. I'm addicted to work. That's my addiction. I've been working for many, many, many years. I'm 
I'm doing it like 8 to 16 hours a day, you know. Sometimes I'm working so much, but like I don't need or nothing. Like I'm saying, like I'm hungry and I'm starving and I still don't eat because I'm too busy with my addiction. Sometimes I'm working so hard and I'm so dedicated because I want to be responsible and pay my bills and uh, take care of my responsibilities, help friends and family and so forth. <sighs> you know, sometimes uh, work interferes with holidays and sometimes I come home very late. Sometimes I miss dinner. Sometimes I miss birthdays and stuff like that. So according to who, W-H-O, um, I'm severely, I have a severe menacing addiction to work. So if you guys have any recommendations on how to cure that, let me know. In the meantime, right now I'm dealing with my 100% addiction to breathing air molecules and I can't seem to stop. It's, it's never ending. So for all you gamers out there, I just want you to know you're probably not in any danger. You do want to make sure, you know, you kind of keep a check on yourself and say, well, you know what, maybe it's time to turn this game off now. <laughs> so, but I'm sure, I'm sure we're not in any actual danger. But they just wanted a headline and they wanted to get all, all parents across the, across the globe all up in arms about the gaming. So, sorry if any of you guys have to suffer the repercussions of such a ridiculous thing. At the end they go, but no need to worry, only 3% of the gaming community is affected by this addiction. Then why did you bring it up? Because more people have an addiction to knitting than gaming. I don't get it, guys. But anyway, that's my rant for right now. And, um, I'm gonna go play some zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Stay safe and stay awesome because you know why? Let me hear you say it. You are awesome! Woo! Thank you guys for everything and for tuning in, and I will see you soon on the next Super Shiro upload or live stream. Love ya! Bye bye! Bam! Join the Bam Fam! Subscribe and like! Whoop whoop! It's Super Shiro! Ah!